Ever wondered what your cat is really trying to tell you? They're talking to you all right, but not with words you and I might use. Cats are masters of subtle communication, using a captivating blend of body language, vocalizations, and even scent to get their message across. Think of it like this. Every twitch of the tail, every flick of the ear, every meow, purr, or hiss is a message from your cat. It's up to us, as their guardians, to learn their unique language and respond in a way that strengthens our connection. So are you ready to unlock the secrets behind those whisker whispers? Let's dive in. Let's start with the most expressive part of a cat their tail. Think of it as a furry barometer of their emotions. A relaxed and upright tail, especially with a little curl at the top, is a pretty clear sign your cat is feeling good. But if that tail starts to puff up like a bottle brush, watch out! Something's got your kitty cat on edge. Either way, it's best to give them some space and figure out what's got their tail in a twist. A slow, gentle flick can mean your cat is feeling playful or curious. But a rapid whipping tail is a sure sign of agitation or irritation. Now let's move on up to those adorable little ears. Just like the tail, your cat's ears can give you a wealth of information about their mood. When those ears are perked up and facing forward, it means your cat is feeling curious and alert. But if those ears start to flatten against their head or swivel to the sides, it's time to give your cat some space. Flattened ears are a classic sign of fear, anxiety, or even aggression. Slightly turned ears might just mean your cat is focusing on a sound or smell, but those pinned back ears are a clear warning sign. We all love a good cat purr, right? It's one of the most soothing sounds in the world. And for the most part, a purring cat is a happy cat. But here's the thing about purring. It's not always a sign of pure joy. Cats also purr when they're anxious, stressed, or even in pain. So how can you tell the difference between a happy purr and a stressed purr? You gotta look at the context. Pay attention to the other cues they're giving you to get the full picture. Now let's talk about body posture. Just like with humans, a cat's overall body language can tell you a lot about how they're feeling. A relaxed cat will often have a loose, fluid posture, but a stressed or anxious cat will often display a more tense, rigid posture. They might be crouched low to the ground, their body held tight, their tail tucked in, and their pupils dilated. This is their way of trying to make themselves appear smaller and less of a target. It's best to give them a wide berth when they're in this mode. Cats are surprisingly vocal creatures, aren't they? And while they might not be able to hold a conversation with us, they sure know how to use their voices to get their point across. Meows, chirps, trills, hisses, growls. These are just a few of the sounds in your cat's vocal repertoire. Understanding the different types of meows and other vocalizations is key to understanding what your cat is trying to tell you. A short high-pitched meow is often a greeting or a request for attention. A longer, more drawn-out meow might indicate hunger or thirst. Let's dive a little deeper into the world of meows, shall we? As we mentioned earlier, a short high-pitched meow is often a greeting like a feline hello. A more insistent repetitive meow is often a request for something. Food, water, attention, you name it. They're not afraid to be persistent either. If you've ever ignored a cat who wants something, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And then there are those plaintive, almost mournful meows that can tug at your heartstrings. If your cat is meowing excessively, or their meows have changed significantly, it's always best to consult with your veterinarian to rule out any medical causes. We've covered the more pleasant sounds a cat can make, but what about those not-so-pleasant ones, the hisses and growls? These are your cat's way of saying, back off, I'm feeling threatened. Your cat is trying to avoid conflict, not start one. So what should you do if your cat hisses or growls at you? The best thing to do is give them space. Don't try to pet them, pick them up, or force them to interact with you. Just back away slowly and give them time to calm down. Learning to decode your cat's secret language is an ongoing journey. Every cat is an individual, and they'll have their own unique ways of communicating. The key is to be patient, observant, and attuned to their subtle cues. The more you pay attention to their body language, their vocalizations, and their overall behavior, the better you'll become at understanding what they're trying to tell you. So take the time to listen to your cat, not just with your ears, but with your heart. So, there you have it, the basics of understanding your cat's secret language. 
Remember every cat is an individual so take the time to observe and learn what your feline friend is trying to tell you. If you're ever concerned about your cat's behavior, don't hesitate to reach out to your veterinarian or a qualified feline behaviorist. They can help you address any issues and strengthen your bond even further. So go ahead, tune into those whisker whispers and unlock the secrets to a truly extraordinary bond with your feline companion. Thank you for watching Peclopedia channel. Please subscribe, comment, like, share and press the notification button.